Hi guys, how you doing? Hope everyone's well. Welcome to Opimation, fitness animator here. And today's video will be a bit different in terms of, I had a few people asking me about my fitness journey. And I thought, you know what? It's been about a year since I've done it. So this time last year in January, I started and I put some pictures up here and there just to show you my process and what I'm going through now. I'm still with the company RNT Fitness great company yeah the journey has been really good uh I, from january to july last year i lost i was losing like a kilo a week and then when i got to like july august september that was my prep time that's when i was prepping for my photo shoot so the photo shoot that was where the process was called the grind phase i was going deep into my mind trying to control my mind to get through this three months because i was on 1500 calories and i was really like doing extra cardio every month. So the first month of the three months, I was doing three days, a, three days a week cardio, 45 minutes. Second month was five days. And the third month was seven days cardio on top of weight training and my steps, which were 12,000 a day when I was photo shooting to expend all the energy, and all the fat that I could to be ready for the photo shoot. Then after the photo shoot, I came out slowly. So what the company does is like, my coaches are really good, like they, teach you how to come out of the deficit slowly because what happens is a lot of people do these 12 week programs and they do the photo shoot and they think ah oh, I've done the photo shoot brilliant I can go and eat now and then what they do they binge 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 and easily people in a week put on like seven kilos in a week and it's like you've completely negated all your nine months of work or however long it took you a year to do to get to where you want so what this company does it, it systematically gets you into a calorie surplus slowly so the 1500 calories i was on after the photo shoot went up to 1800 and 2000 then it went up to 2400 and i sustained 2400 from september to december and that was a phase called consolidation so they were teaching us how to stay in that best shape of our life for life but obviously i put a little bit back on because you can stay lean like that if you wanted to but Honestly, you won't really be happy as much, you know, you're, you're restricted on calories, you'll be moody. So it wouldn't really fit the lifestyle for a normal person who's working and stuff. You know, if it's for, I don't know, your fitness channel or what have you, then it's different, you're an example, right? You've got to be like that. But for the average person who's working and has got kids and family, staying like lean kind of all year round is what you're trying to do, lean kind of bulk. You know, you find that sweet point you, you know from there, if you want to go on holiday or want to go out, have a beach body in like six weeks to 10 weeks, you know you can do it because you're in that reasonable shape. That's what the RNT fitness is all about, is trying to suit your uh, nutrition and exercise and everything to your lifestyle. Coming up with a solution for you, tailored for you, that you can sustain every year and you don't have to keep dieting and going back and what have you. So right now I'm in a phase which is investment investment phase is now from january so my calories have gone up to three thousand so all this year i will be investing which is building muscle so that involves just every week or two i will try and progressively overload i will try and add more weight to my indicator lifts my main lifts or i will try and add extra reps or add extra sets in some way i'm improving every week something i'm doing something extra to build that extra muscle and my weight is all right at the moment. Uh, I was 76 kilos on photo shoot. Now I'm 86, 87 now I weigh today. So I've stayed around the 80s for about four months. So I've kind of learned how to do that with the foods I'm eating. I've had a few takeaways there and there. I've buffered as the teacher had to buffer, you know, buffer your calories if you're going out. I, have, I had my 40th birthday. So I went out with my friends there. I learned how to buffer, which really means like, you know, I'm taking out some carbs out of my lunch, excuse me, out of my uh, dinner. And I won't have dinner because I'm going out with my mates. So you kind of learn how to buffer foods around and calories and what have you. So you can have a good time eating out reasonably as well, healthy food. So at the moment I'm doing that, I'm investing, I'm building muscle. And, you know, speaking to my coaches and stuff, they will say like, you know, you can build muscle all this year. If they feel like I'm putting on weight a bit too much too quickly, then what people tend to do is they do like a mini cut. So they'll do like maybe a six week cut. 
So they'll lose a bit of uh, weight again, and then they'll go back gradually on the lean bulk. So I'm going for the lean bulk rather than the dirty bulk, you know, because the dirty bulk, you can eat what you want, you, you put on all this weight, and really, yeah, you're, you're training, but are you training with maximum performance and efficiency? You know, when you've got that much extra weight and fat on you, you're, you feel a bit more sluggish, don't you? You're not performing well. So a lot of people opt for the lean bulking, which is what I'm doing too. So at the moment, I'm in the 80s, I'm training hard. I'm doing cardio too, just to stay in that kind of lean bulk. So I do cardio about three times a week, just so because I like the way I'm looking at the moment. And then hopefully next year, I'll do the same thing. I'll go on a cut photo shoot compared last year's uh, photo shoot to next year's. And then by then, what? That would be 24 months of the program. Then I would have known the whole process, how to do it, how to do fat loss, how to sustain it, how to invest, build muscle, then go back to leaning back again for the photo shoot, then coming out of it. So it's good to go through this process. So what I would say to anyone who's trying to do it is that the mind, what it does for the mind, the fitness journey, yeah, you want to look good. You will look good because when you lose, when you have that fat loss, there's muscle underneath that you haven't seen before. You will look good. But the mind shift is the best thing. That's the best thing that can happen in this process. And you can apply that to other things, like apply it to my animation in my work, you know, uh, more, more disciplined in that. So all things can come out of it as well. So stick with a program that you find there, which is recommended. Obviously, I can vouch for RNT Fitness because I've done it. But there's other programs out there. Look at the PTs, look at the coaches, look at the transformations, look at the evidence. Ask questions, ask former people that have been with the coach message them direct message them on instagram you know some pe people are quite open to that and you know ask them how was it and try and get it for recommendation i got it for recommendation a friend of mine tra transformed his body and that kind of sealed it for me because i know my friend i trust him and he recommended it rnt fitness but all i could say to you is find one program you like it doesn't have to be rnt fitness but obviously because i've done it i recommend it um, if you find one, stick with it. Don't program hop. Don't go from one program to another to another because it's the same as yo-yoing. That's the same as yo-yoing with your diet, with your training. I used to do that and I never had no guidance. You need to, you need to be with a coach that will hold you, hold you accountable every week. That you Are you weighing yourself? Are you measuring your foods? Are you doing everything? And uh, stick with that program for however long. Everyone's fat loss phase is different. No one does it at the same time. Some people have less fat on them, some people have more. So stick with it, with patience and a small degree of discipline, you can all achieve a similar result. Don't worry about other people, focus on yourself. You're your own competitor, compete with yourself. I know it's a cliche thing to say, but it's very true. That's what I did. Every month I was looking, it felt far away, the target. But every month I looked at the step in front of me. I didn't look too far ahead. So only when I got to July last year, when I started seeing myself get more ripped, then I realized, all right, the end goal is coming. And I'm only three months away from photo shoot. I can do this. So your mind changes as you transform. I put a link in the description for a podcast because with RNT, anyone, everyone that transforms, they after a year they do a podcast with them so you can check out my podcast with them on their on their channel i'll put it in the description below but i just wanted to share this video with you because it felt like a lot of students were asking about my process and i'll get back on to animation tutorials next week but yeah share like if you think anyone is uh, in a place where they need to listen to this or need some inspiration because um you know i had a 40 inch waist last year in january September it was 30 inches mate and I know it's a common thing to say but hey man if I can do it you guys can do it easily so stick to the process find a coach that you trust that's got a good reputation and just go for it really go for it with discipline conviction and just clarity just really delve in deep for it and focus on yourself all everything around you is bullshit and this is the tunnel vision. Don't worry what people are saying around there. You focus on yourself. And that goes for animation too. You got mentors, like I had a mentor. So I had a mentor for PT, for my personal transformation. So it made sense, right? I had an animation mentor. Well, I went to animation mentor to get a mentor there. Taught me how to animate. So I've tunnel vision, taught practicing, practicing, because I knew that this is the right way to practice, because I was getting advice from the best in the business. 
Same with this fitness program. We're getting advice from the coaches who are, these coaches were ultimate performance coaches. So look up UP, ultimate performance. They are well respected and they know what they're doing. So I just trusted them, trust the process, trusted them and I got the results. So find someone you trust who has results and you can do it too. All right, guys, enough of me. I'll chat to you next video. Take care, stay healthy, exercise once a day at least, or at least go for a walk or any kind of activity, physical activity, do one every week, promise yourself that. And uh, happy animating, and I'll see you in the next video.